Dway. I'm the subject leader for physical education here at Bay House Sick Form. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the physical education course and why it might be right for you. We study a two year A level here at Bay House and the exam board we use is OCR. Have you ever wondered how your personality could affect performance in sport? Have you ever wondered how people become elite sports performers? Have you ever wondered how technology can help you to improve in sport? If the answer to these questions is yes, then physical education is definitely going to interest you at A level. Why choose A level here at Bay House Sit Form? Well, we have subject specialist teachers, each teaching to their strengths and the unit that best suits them. We have excellent facilities to on offer. We've got a brand new sports hall. We've got a 3G astro pitch. We've got the cock tap facilities for football. We've got outdoor netball courts. We offer subject specific tutorials on a regular basis. Studying A-level physical education can give you a fantastic insight into the amazing world of sports performance. And it's our job as teachers here to inspire you to be able to do that. The combination of physical performance and academic challenge provide excellent opportunities for you as students. You can perform and then through your performance, improve your academic study through the theory that you learn in the classroom. Physical education is studied in a range of different contexts and it has um, it's studied in the impact it has on both ours and other people's lives and everyday lives. You'll learn the reasons why we do certain things, why some people outperform others, both mentally and physically. You'll also delve into the ethical considerations behind the use of drugs in sport and the influence that modern technology is having upon sport in society. The key features of this course include the fact that it's really simple and straightforward to understand the assessment structure. There are four clear units, three of which are assessed with a written exam, one of which is what we call a non-examined assessment, so coursework based. All key areas of the course are covered opportunities to either be a coach or perform in an activity and the course provides an excellent grounding for further study into this or many other different areas. The emphasis throughout the course is on the development of your own knowledge and your competence and confidence in a variety of different skills and different situations. These variety of skills will enable you to confidently move forward in your life. You'll learn how physical education affects affects and contributes to society and also how to apply your knowledge from this course to a number of different practical situations and career choices in the future. Our examination results here at Bay House is something that we're really really proud of. Um, our A-level results for 2020 and 2019 have been outstanding and the pass rate remains at 100%. 93% of our students achieve A star to C grades and the proportion of the very highest which is A star to B is an impressive 71% and we intend for that to keep on rising. We're thrilled with the level of dedication and effort that our students show, particularly in their upper sixth year. And many have gone on to Russell Group universities to start further education in the subject of sport, but also to then get themselves into occupations that are super competitive and to progress their careers as they choose. Physiotherapy is a very popular career choice that lots of our students have gone on to achieve. So the course itself then, how will you be assessed in this course? Like I said before, it is made up of four different units. Unit one, two, three, and four. Unit one through to three are all written examinations at the end of the two years. Unit four is a non-examined assessment where you are um, to take part in a practical performance or a coaching performance, whichever you would prefer. Or, I'm sorry, and a analysis task, each of which is worth 15% of your overall grade. The practical sport that you are assessed in has to be something that is on the approved list for OCR. So the list, you can find the list at the link below, but also in the top corner, there is a very small picture of all of the practical elements that you can be assessed in practically performance or a practical coaching performance. Um, usually we have high numbers of footballers, of netballers, we look at basketball, rugby, cycling, track events, athletics, 
Triathlon and sailing have been added this year to the specification. Gymnastics, golf, dance. Those are the usual activities that our students perform in, but you can be assessed in any of the approved list activities. Going back to the academic side of the course then, Unit one is physiology. So this includes things like biomechanics, anatomy, breathing control, blood circulation, movement, muscles, bones, all of those things. And it is assessed in a two hour written exam at the end of the two years and it's worth 30% of your A-level. Unit two is sports psychology and skill acquisition. So this is more to do with our mind and how we learn certain things and why we might be good at learning certain things and how we can improve our learning of certain things, of certain skills in sport. So we have 20% of your A-level and it's a one hour written exam at the end of the two years. Unit three is contemporary issues within sport. So this is where we look at drugs in sport, violence in sport, where sport began, how did it evolve over time? Um, and again, that is a 20% of your A-level and it is, worth, it is a one hour written exam at the end of your two years. Like I said before, unit four is the non-examined element. 15% is an analysis task where you watch a performance and you give a verbal analysis and put in place a coaching plan as to how you would improve that performance over a given time. That is worth 15%. The other 15% is either a practical performance or a coaching performance in one of the activities on the approved list. Filmed evidence of this is required and you are required to do that in your own time. We do recommend that before joining this course, you are playing a sport competitively outside of college. So being part of a netball team, a basketball team, a football team, a badminton team, being able to compete um, regularly against other people is, is a necessity for this course. Why choose physical education then? So PE is a subject that opens doors to a number of different careers and life options. Sport nutrition and health are massive topics of discussion in today's society. And as the fight against obesity and sedentary lifestyle continues, the knowledge you gain from this course is only gonna grow with importance and relevance. It's an excellent base for a university degree in sports science, sports management, healthcare, or exercise and health. PE can also complement further study in biology, human biology, physics, psychology, nutrition, sociology, and many, many more. It can open up a range of different career paths, including sports development, sports coaching, physiotherapy, personal training, or becoming one of the next generation of PE teachers. The transferable skills you learn through this study of PE, such as decision making, independent thinking, they're also really useful in any career path you choose to take in the future. Extra information then that we can give you about physical education here at Bay House. So there is the opportunity to play competitive sport here at Bay House, and that can link really nicely in with your A-level because you are required uh, to have a practical performance in sport. Um, we offer two competitive leagues to enter. We offer football and we offer netball. Typically, we enter two teams per sport, per league, and the competitive fixtures take place on a Wednesday afternoon. And if you don't have a fixture on Wednesday afternoon, then you are training on a Wednesday afternoon. Depending on numbers, we have in the past offered competitive basketball, where we've entered the Hampshire Colleges League, and also rugby as well. But again, that depends on numbers and whether or not we have enough to run the teams. Trips that we offer, at yearly we offer a trip to Chichester University. It's a year 12 taster day. So it includes staff-led seminars, introductions to sports courses available, practical activities and interactions campus tours, including uh, the sports labs, the science labs and the sports facilities. And to final, uh, the final task of the day is to have a tutor led session on admission statements. So what universities are really looking for when you're applying for a sports course for further education. Um, if you have any questions at all about this, the PE course here at Bay House, please feel free to contact me at the email below kway at bayhouse.gfmat.org. I'll endeavour to get back to you as soon as possible with any answers to your questions. 
P is a really exciting course here at Bay House. Um, we have a really good track record of delivering fun lessons, exciting lessons, engaging lessons. We have really small classes, so it can promote teamwork, it promotes working together, working well, good communication skills, good presentation skills. Lots of different things that we are really proud of here at Bay House. Like I said before, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I'm looking forward to seeing you enrol for September. Thank you.